love. In the Midwest of the United States, I went to a conference where people would smile at even the thought that British politicians are arch manipulators. If you want to hear about real hypnotic manipulation, just listen to them. At the time that I was going through these techniques, I didn't realize I was being hypnotized because I had a, a preconceived notion in my mind that hypnosis involved somebody swinging a watch in front of your face and then putting you into a deep sleep and then making hypnotic suggestions to you. But none of that happened in Scientology. There was no watch swinging. I never went into a deep sleep. I was conscious of everything that was going on. I never lost memory of anything that happened. Basically, the way I looked at it was all I was doing was, was doing simple techniques that involved talking to another person. It never occurred to me that this could be a very subtle form of hypnosis. Members of the Church of Scientology didn't take kindly to our questioning which is possibly why they jeered when I went with two former high-ranking Scientologists to learn about their secret methods. Start. She's about to demonstrate on me some of their secret techniques. Okay, Flunk, you twitched your mouth. Start. All over the world, people are being put through this right now by Scientology trainers. Okay, Flunk, you gave a big sigh. Okay, now what, what, what's actually occurring here as this, as this happens is the, the control has started to go in, where there's one person starting to control that your emotions, your movement, etc., and your willingness to be controlled. And you're going to finally have to be able to do this for two hours without a twitch, without a movement, without anything else. What I'm aware of is when I stop my attention from moving and I totally focus upon you, I begin to go into a trance mm -hmm. because my conscious mind is looking for movement. Right. But it's being fixed and held. Now, we're going to do this drill <clears throat> until um, your tone 40 is totally in. Okay, now this is done screaming, so it's going to get a lot, okay. a little bit loud for the camera. You're a student. Okay. Start. Start. Stand up! Sit down in that chair! Flunk, you failed to acknowledge. Okay, start. Stand up! Thank you! Sit down in that chair! Thank you! Stand up! Thank you! Sit down in that chair! Thank So, Robert, uh, what does this do for you? What does this technique uh, actually achieve? Well, the purpose of this is to give you the ability to direct your intention mm. to get something accomplished. Um, now, you under must understand in Scientology, however, there's two sides of this. While you are learning to get something done, so I say, Paul, go over there. And I'm just able to direct you because there's a lot of people that have said uh, Paul could you sort of go over here for a second it gives you that commanding presence so right? it's like a military training yes, kind of drill exactly very much so now the other thing that's important to know however is in Scientology you must learn to be commanded this is important because at the same time while you are learning intention without reservation you must learn control so I must be able to receive your control so when you tell me to go over there I'm willing. So you are learning to control people and you're learning to be controlled at the same time. And that's how the mind control begins to take place. 